Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Dice City. This is a board game for one to four players. It's for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 45 minutes. I have covered this game on my channel before, but today we are going to play the solo variant for the very first time. I might get a roll wrong or two, but as I always say, I'm here to spread awareness, have some fun, and if I get all the rules right, then great, but typically that never happens. <laughs> it's just a hazard uh, to my profession. Anyway, so what is Dice City? Well, for those of you that have never heard of this game before, players will roll these dice and then assign them to their appropriate space. There's the white row, yellow row, red row, blue row, and the black row. So as such, players receive dice of those colors, and then they will find the correct column based on the number that was rolled. And then they will activate these actions. They will be able to do other things with those dice if they so choose to. It is all kind of laid out here on their handy dandy dice step reference sheet. So I'm not going to bother showing you like the competitive rules because I've already done that. Um, rather, I'm just going to play the solo game and show you what I'm doing as I go. Um, my goal in the solo rule set is to get 50 victory points. That's 50 victory points by the end of 15 rounds. That's on the normal difficulty. On the harder difficulty, you will have 12 rounds to do it. As part of setup, you're going to set up the regular army, quarry, mine, and lumber mill as normal. They are always available to all the players all the time. And like in the solo mode, you'll have access to those as well. You're going to take one of each of the three bandit cards. You will never discard these or collect these. Anytime you defeat a bandit of that type, you will draw that many victory points from the supply rather than keep their cards as uh, a reminder that it's a trophy. Same with these trade ships. There are three different types of trade ships. You're just going to put one of each card like you do with the bandit. So there's 110, there's a, a 5 here. I'll just move that over. And it's 20. So anytime you complete a trade ship, you're going to collect uh, that many victory points from the supply and um, just count them that way and just leave these sitting here for next time. You can claim these an unlimited number of times, so as long as you've got the resources available to do so. The timer in this game is your purchase row. There are location cards in this location deck. Like in the core game with multiplayer, you're going to deal eight to form like the purchase area. However, you're going to, in the solo game, deal them out in a four by two grid like this. So four and four. At the end of every turn, you're going to wipe the bottom row, move the top row down, and then replenish. Um, if you happen to buy a card from a row, you do not immediately replace it like you would in the multiplayer game. So if I were to buy this card, nothing happens. This just this remains empty, and then these eventually all will be discarded, and this will move down. And I'm going to be trying to get 50 victory points by the end of, like, 15 rounds. That's how long it'll take to go through this entire deck and cycle through it. So I think that's good enough. Um, I know the spaces are kind of hard to read because there's a lot of little text, um, but we're going to go ahead and just get started. I'm going to go ahead and just roll my dice and see what I get. This is a white 5. This is a blue 5. Four, a yellow five, a red two, and a black six. So these are the spaces that I have to work with, although I am able to move dice. If I want to, move another die to an adjacent space on that die's own row. So I, I definitely want some resources. This is going to get me a wood. This is going to add <clears throat> a sword to my army. This is going to add a sword to my army. Two army isn't going to do anything for me. I need at least three in order to beat these bandits. So I think I might like use this to move this or, you know, use this to move this. And if I move it to the right, I get a wood. Let's take a look at the purchase row and see what's available and what I might want to go after. This storehouse is actually looking kind of cool. Pay one of any resource to get three of that resource. Um... That's actually not terrible, being able to just consistently 
well, as, so, as long as I roll on that, whenever you buy a card, you choose where it goes in your tableau and you hope that you roll it the next time that you roll. Um, I'm really tempted to do that. The Bazaar lets me exhaust this card in order to get these resources here, and then I can spend a die to unexhaust it. I kind of like this. That's going to give me a lot of unique resources, although these are going to go away at the end of my turn, so maybe I might want to go for one of these. If I want to go a more military route, I can take this training camp. It's one wood and one iron. All bandits get minus one. That would help me out with these really bad uh, military rolls. So um, the problem is, is that during the game, there's a certain, you know, steps that I have to follow. Let's go ahead and show you the rule book, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, when you take a turn, you are going to use dice, which is where we are. Then we attack, and then we build and trade, and then end of turn. So the attack step comes before building and trading. So I would not be able to purchase this this turn and then attack. I'd have to attack first, lose my attack after that, and then I'd be able to build this for next time. So I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, okay, let's just figure this out. We definitely just want to get wood. I mean, that's a given. I have some resources off to the side, so I'm going to take a wood. You are forced to discap discard down to one of each resource type every turn. So I, if I had three wood at the end of my turn, I have to discard down the two. So I definitely want to use them whenever possible. This says re-roll this dice. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It is a three, which ends up here. Actually, there's the three that I need in order to uh, just beat this guy and get two victory points right out of the gate. My only concern is, um, can I buy something with this wood over here. I'm going to get wood from here, and that's going to be that. And I need to spend at least one, or I'm going to lose it. The only thing that is two wood over here is this festival hall. Get one victory point for every two resources of the same type that you have in your stock. Okay, um, interesting. One victory point for every two resources of the same type that you have in your stock. That that's not bad if I'm going for a more economic route. Um, these other ones, I would really like a metal. All bandits get minus one. I could use the two wood instead to get this lumber mill. And then if I land on the lumber mill, I'll just get two wood out of it. So maybe I'll do that during the buy phase. Okay, let's go ahead and use these to get three army. And now we move on to the attack phase because we've got all of our dice. The attack phase, I'm going to spend my three attack because that was one, two, three, wherever those dice were. And this is a defensive three. I'm going to get two points. So instead of keeping that card like you would in the multiplayer game, I'm just going to take this two victory point token and put it somewhere down here. Now we move on to the building and trade step. So I'm going to build this lumber mill instead of buying one of these, which I don't know, I feel like I'm passing up an opportunity with this with this haul, but what I, I really want to start getting an economy going early so that um, I, I can like afford to get these trade ships going. I think that's going to be huge for me. So I'm going to put the lumber mill over the traveler here, maybe right here, and if I need to hopefully like just move move the red die horizontally to try and get to this spot. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I think that's it. And now I think that's the end of my turn, end of turn. At the end of the turn, you're just going to take your dice and roll them again in preparation for your next turn. But we also have to take care of this maintenance down here. So six, four, and three. Okay, so now we are going to remove these four cards from the game. They go into a discard pile up there. These slide down, and we're going to draw some new cards. And again, this deck is our timer when it runs out. Oh, I forgot to turn in my two wood now for that lumber mill. All right, so these are the new cards that are out. I really like the idea of this storehouse, and I really like the idea of this bazaar. Let's see if we can't get anything done with that. This is a wood, this is a wood, army, reroll, and three wood. I want an iron or a stone, preferably. So what I could do is... 
I'm going to remove this die to move another die horizontally by one space. And I think I'm going to move this one to the left by one. This gets me an iron uh, and a wood. Uh, so I think that's good. And then this says re-roll this die. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's a three, which is here, which is an awful roll. Oh boy. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do... Yeah, well, I could give up one of these woods to then move this over to the left. Do, but no, I, that's kind of silly. I mean, <laughs> actually no, it's, okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to get two wood out of this. I'll keep one. Yeah. All right. Let's just keep it as is. It's kind of unfortunate that that rolled a three, but so it goes. I'm going to get a wood from that. I'm going to get a wood from that. I'm going to get one attack from that, which is like nothing. And I'm going to get an iron from that. Now we move on to the attack step. One attack is not enough to do anything against these bandits. We're going to move on to the build step and the trade step. I've got some resources. I have to spend at least one wood here or I lose it. So let's take a look down here. We've got the bazaar, which is one wood and one iron. So I think I'm going to spend that. And again, as long as I've only got one resource, I can keep it. So I'm going to build the bazaar and the exhausted uh, token will be removed if you spend a die to do it. So where am I going to put this? I think I'm going to put this here because this, this spot is awful for me. So I'm going to put that bazaar there and hope that I roll somewhere around here so I can move the die there in the future. And I think that's all I can do. So I'm going to roll my dice in preparation for the next turn. Three, two, four, two, six. Okay. And now I have to remove all of these cards and slide these down. Got a mint, blacksmith, stables, and a well. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here and what we might want to go after. This is the dice step that we're on. The manor is just two victory points. Every time we land on it, we get two victory points. That's not bad, all things considered. The cathedral, cathedral is worth one victory point for each of these little pen and quill icons um, on this row. So if I can get like the manor and the cathedral on the same row, that would be great. Um, I've got a small small houses here that have that same symbol. That's not terrible, but it's, it's very expensive. The town hall is use this ability, uh, use the ability of any location in, in your city. These are really expensive cards. Training camp is just bandits. Um, they all get minus one. Okay, well, let's see what we got. He, again, with this bull cocky. So what I'm going to do is remove this yellow die, I think, yes, to move this one to the left by one. That way we land on the lumber mill. We're going to get an iron from there. We're going to get two wood from here. One, two. We are are going to get a victory point from this house. Uh, so that's one. And lastly, we're going to get a wood from here as well. Lots of wood. What are we going to do with all this wood? Um, we've got one, two, three, four wood. So I feel like we need to spend a lot. There's a stables, uh, training camp. Jeez. Um, I mean, I can get more lumber mills, but what does the stables do? Um, move one of your unused dice to any location on this row. Huh. Move one of your unused dice to any location on its row. Interesting. So I can, it's a free move. It's nice utility for sure. And it's worth one point at the end of the game. Uh, most of these cards have some kind of victory point. These do not have victory points on them, except for this regular army. But um, the cards that I'm buying definitely do. I kind of want to get a stables out there. I think that's going to be nice. I'm going to cover up something that I don't need at the moment. Um, this reroll is kind of crappy. I think I'm going to 
use two of my wood to buy that. And I've got two wood and an iron left, which I need to spend at least one wood in order to not lose it. The training camp down here is nice, but I'd have to get a lot of military cards to really make use of that. If I start covering up military, this training camp isn't going to be that useful. I'm more inclined to build more lumber mills if I can, but... Um, what would I cover up if I were to buy this lumber mill? And plus, it doesn't give me any victory points either, whereas this one does. Okay, so maybe I do go for this and cover up... Hmm. This is where things get dicey. You just never know. Like, you're afraid to cover up something that you think you're going to roll later. Um, I, I want to get a lumber mill, but there's no points for that. It's an economy building thing. I get that. But I need iron and stone as well, which are the other two resources, and I just don't have it. Um, okay, so I gotta spend this on something. I think I will go with the training camp. It's probably gonna be a mistake, but it gives me a victory point, and that one victory point might be worth it at the end of the game. I'm gonna put this on a row where I do not have red, because you can't have both at the same time. So, um, like, if I put this here, I'm either going to get this, this, or this. I'm not going to get all three or just these two. So I need to put this somewhere where I can make use of it. I'm going to cover up this wood up here because, again, I'm getting wood from this lumber mill. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, so I've spent all of my dice. There's no attacking going on at all. And now we build if we want to, which we just did. Um, okay, so we, we've built two cards, which isn't terrible. I'm going to go ahead and just roll my dice in preparation for the next phase, and it is a yellow two. It is a white six. Of course, I'm not going to get anything that I want, because <laughs> that's just how my life is. Three. Lots of wood. I'm going to get lots of wood this game, but let's go ahead and remove these cards, because the timer is ticking. We're going to just bring these down. Again, we never refill these. We just let them, let them ride. There's exactly the number of cards needed. I think there's like 60 cards in this deck. So um, there we go. We got new cards coming out. And now we can, again, figure out what we're going to do. We've got one here, which isn't great. Um, what if I got rid of this to then move this over to stone? I think I like that because I might want this well. Um, Reroll this die and any number of your other unused dice. Um, that's kind of a risk to take, though. Um, what other stone buildings? Uh, the church. Uh, use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. So it's pretty much used the same action twice. Interesting. I have to wonder if... I have, if something is exhausted, I would have to unexhaust it, then be able to use that. I would assume so. But this is two points. That is two whole points. So I'm, I'm very tempted to go after it. Um, okay, so let's resolve this six because I don't think it's going to move anywhere. I'm going to get an iron for that. This is in a crappy position. I'm going to use this to move something else. I think I'm going to use this to move this over to the right by one to get a stone. I haven't seen one of those yet this entire game. This is going to get me two wood. So that's going to do that. One, two. And lastly, I'm going to get a victory point here. I feel like I'm not doing that well. I only have four victory points here. I really need to get more. Okay, so yeah, now attacking, there's nothing going on there. We can build, and we've got wood, stone, and we've got... Three wood, one iron, and one stone. Um, that's, these are not, nope. I can get a church. That's two victory points. I think that might be good. Um, everything else I cannot afford. Um, I could buy something for two wood and keep these three and then hopefully get more of those later. But I feel like I need to go all in sooner rather than later because time is ticking. Um, so I think I might just go after the church here and buy the church. And that's going to be, yep, and where am I going to put that? Use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. Okay, so maybe I put that over, preferably, maybe down here over this wood. Because we keep getting wood consistently. I'd rather, like, 
go for other things if I can. All right, so the church is down there, and we still have two wood. If we don't use it, we, we lose one of them. So I think what I'm going to do is just buy another lumber mill and replace something with wood on it. Maybe this one over here, preferably a center spot, because out here, it's harder to get to. Maybe I cover up the army stuff, but if I do that, then that's going to be less good. Um, I, I have no choice. Maybe I will put it over here. I don't like putting them out there in the corner like that because there's less of a chance of moving another die onto it, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to remove these and move these down. New cards come out. One, two, three, four. My engine is like really bad. Okay, so I have to roll these dice. I forgot to do that. So we'll do that. So it's a blue two. Victory point. I get a yellow six. <laughs> oh, I hate dice and dice hate me. Four. Okay. Well, this is wonderful. That's two stone I would get for that, which would be enough for a quarry. I kind of like that. Um, that's a wood. That's a. That's not terrible. It's a lot of resources. I'm consistently not getting any of my good stuff, which is awful. Um, I guess we'll just take the resources. So uh, this is stone. This is wood. Oh, I just took my stone away. Wood. This is iron, which is fine. This is a victory point, which is... I'll turn this one into a two. And this four is a stone. Uh, here. Okay. So this is what I have to work with again. It's not great. Um... I'm really tempted to get a quarry, but let's see if I can afford anything down here. This requires two stone and an iron, the Great Wall. This is three victory points ongoing. Other cards on this row have plus two protection. Now, it's really only good for multiplayer games, but three victory points is a lot. Uh, but I feel like I need more utility rather than, like, I need cards that give me victory points. This manor is, anytime I land on it, I get two victory points. If I can consistently get this, that's not terrible. Um, uh, man, uh, use the ability of any other location on this row. I can't, I'm very tempted to get the manor and just focus on these victory points and hope that I roll that. Mm. Maybe I, I put it down here. Uh, I don't. I really don't want to cover up. Yeah. Maybe I go with that. So two stone and one wood. And this is worth uh, two at the end of the game as well. So what am I going to do with this? Where am I going to put this card? <sighs> I hate covering up like stuff I might use. This is just useless to me. Well, I can't use two a militia on the same. I'll cover one of these up. How about that? Or maybe I'll... Mm, Move one of your unused... I guess we'll put that there. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, so we're going to wipe these. Move these down. 15 rounds is going by quickly. Very, very concerned. Okay, let's roll some dice and see what we get. I feel like we're like a third of the way through the game and I didn't get anywhere. Two. Okay, so black two... Red five standing by, five there. We're like shy of everything that's good in our, <laughs> I mean, really. I've got an iron left over from last time. I've got a stone, a stone, a victory point, victory point, and an iron. Maybe I just use this turn to get like two of these on the board, but do we have anything? The barracks is two stone and an iron. It says, place a regular army location anywhere in your city without paying the cost, which is one of these guys. And that's not terrible. If we can use those to get victory points every round, that would be cool. Um, what else is just stone and iron? This is all your army locations provide an additional sword. That would be great as well for really bad rolls. Um, I'm really tempted to get the blacksmith or the barracks. 
The Watchtower is adds three damage to your army that can only be used to attack bandits. Well, in the multiplayer game, you know, you can't attack other people with this, but I mean the watchtower for me is I'm only working on them anyway, the bandits. That's three that's enough for this and I mean, that's not bad. That's really not bad. All of these are great. Um Yeah, I, I think all right, let's get the resources. We'll get a stone, a stone, so that's two stone. We're going to get two victory points for those. One, two, and an iron for that. So we've got this going on. I need to be careful about leftovers. So do I want the barracks or the blacksmith? Um, the barracks, I feel, would be better over the long game. I need something in the short game. So, Because uh, this adds regular armies everywhere. But you have to be lucky enough to roll on them in the first place. This, at least, is an immediate benefit. Um, or, what was I looking at? All of your armies provide... No. The Watchtower. Yeah, we'll go with a Watchtower, which is just three extra damage. Um, I'm tempted to overwrite one of these Militia spots. So I think I'm going to put that there. And that's that. Um, and that's going to be... Oh, I don't have a wood. I can't do that. I, do not, I do not have a wood. Dang. Because of course I don't have a wood. Well, maybe we'll get that next time. Um, maybe I'll then buy all of your army locations provide an additional sword. If I get two, then that turns into four, which then is three victory points. That's not terrible. Uh, but I can't do any of these. I can do the grand statue down here, which uh, pay up to three stone or iron when you build it to get one victory point extra for each resource paid. It's, I'd rather have something engine buildy. I think we'll go with the blacksmith on this one and just buff all of these army locations. And this is considered is this an army lo this is an army location, is it not the training camp? I I can't tell. Um it says all your army locations provide an additional sword. Well, I don't think this is an army location. It's more of a training camp. I don't know. Uh, we'll just house rule that it doesn't affect this, but maybe it does. Who knows? In that case, I, I think I'm going to cover up um, maybe something down here on this row. Um, let's get let's get that going. But here's the thing. I'd have to get this and then like roll well over here. Was that, that's, that's so situational. That bothers me so much. That really bothers me. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about that. Okay. Um, well, it is what it is. It's two points, and I have to pay that. And then this is just a stopgap. I could have bought two of these, uh, one here and one here, to get more resources on the board. But I feel like I'd have to be really lucky and and roll that. Okay. Let's just keep going with it. We're going to. Remove these cards, slide these down. I realize I'm kind of doing it out of order now, but I don't think it really matters. All right, so we have to refresh that too. I have a feeling we're gonna get half of our goal <laughs> in this game. All right, uh, we've got a white three. It was a white three. Red four, we got a yellow five, which is here, a black two, two and a blue two okay hmm so what i could do is spend this to move this here and then all bandits get minus one and that would be two i would get two victory points with these three dice which doesn't seem very it doesn't seem very efficient Two victory points in one turn, plus it's I get three victory points this turn if I do that, and only one iron. But no, I'd have to spend this. What if um, move one of your unused dice to a location on its any location on its row? Um, what if I Use this to move this and then move something, one of these, somewhere else. Like maybe over here to get one of each resource. If I do that, that would guarantee I could purchase the watchtower and focus on that. Um, oof, goodness gracious. Uh, but then I'd have to exhaust it. Oh man, that's... 
That's two victory points as well. Rather than get three victory points just for the bandit, uh, or two victory points just for the bandit, I think we need to maneuver these dice and get off of here. So maybe I spend this one to move this one over here, and then it says move one of your unused dice to any location on its row. I'm gonna move this one here to do that, and then cash in on this card. So I have to put a uh, exhausted token on it, but I get a wood, a stone, and an iron for that. And then I get iron, iron. So it's one, two, and that's that. Okay. All right. So with that being said, gosh. Um, attacking is not going to happen. I do have a lot of stuff here. If I just had one more wood, I could have gotten this trade ship for five. Um, but I feel like I feel like I need to focus on stuffs. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Get two victory points every time I land on this. That could be another good one to have. This watchtower. I, I still like this watchtower because it adds three damage just landing on it. Um, I think what I'm going to do with that is I, I think I am going to purchase it, but then I can't do any other wood buildings this turn. So one wood, one stone, and one iron to purchase this watchtower. And I think maybe overwrite that. I'm not sure. I don't want to overwrite my resources because I really need them. So maybe I put this here. That way, if I land here, I can at least move over here. Yeah. And um, I spent my resources. I've got two iron and a stone left. And I feel like I buy more stuff to get more victory points. Reroll this die in any number of your unused dice. That could be useful in a pinch if I land there. Part of me really wants that card. Um, let's go with... Um, I can't afford... A whole lot. Okay, so what if I did the mine up here and try... I mean, I hate that there's no victory points with this, but I feel like I need to do it. So I'm going to spend two iron and save the stone for later, and I will overwrite, I don't know, maybe this one here. In case I land here and can't use it, being able to move over here to get more iron would be helpful. Okay, so that ends my turn. These go away. These slide down. And new cards come out. Okay. Wow. This is not going well. I mean, I could always buy the... I could have bought a regular army, I suppose. But I feel like I'm always one of those economic people that love to focus on economy. But sometimes that's my downfall, too. Like, I don't focus hard enough on victory points and lose miserably. Okay. Two. Okay. So let's see what we got here. All your army locations provide an additional sword, sword. So this is four right here. That's enough for three victory points. I'd have to spend three dice to do it, which isn't terrible. This die is just a stone, which is useless. What am I going to, like... I'm going to have to use a pass token on that, I think, and just take a pass token. Pass tokens... Um, whenever you don't have a die to spend, you can pass and gain a pass token. You can only take this action uh, once per turn, though. Um, you can turn in two pass tokens to gain a resource of your choice, increase your army strength by one for the turn, or force all other players to reroll. But we're not, there's no other players. But we could use that pass token. Well, we need two of them. But I am going to take a pass token out of that. So we'll have this in the future. Kind of sucky, but we get two victory points for that, which is a good one. Okay, and these is this is gonna be this is worth two and then four. So we're gonna have four attack going into the next phase. That's enough to get the three points for these bandits. And we didn't get any resources this turn, so it's not we can't do a whole lot of building. These all go away, unfortunately. We keep our stone, these move down. All right. If I can just get one of those trade ships, I would feel a whole lot. This 20, for example, 
I don't know if that's ever going to happen with what I've got going on right now. Because <laughs> we're getting victory points slowly here and there, but I feel like we're not getting a huge influx. Okay, so we're going to roll our dice. And I'm trying not to roll on the board and destroy... Uh, this, these are the worst rolls, all the way on the outside where I can't do anything with them. Yellow and a four. Of course. Why would I why would I do that? Okay, well, actually what I will do is um stone. Okay. So this is what three iron? I don't think we're gonna need three iron with what what's over here. I think what we do do is um let's get rid of this one to move to remove this token. Great. Now we cash in on this. So we are going to exhaust it and get a wood stone and an iron okay so we exhausted a second time um with these do i want to move maybe this over here if i get a stone an iron and an iron that's that's a lot of stone and iron but i just don't know what am i going to do with it maybe focus on these again or maybe get something down here let's get the resources and figure it out so let's go uh, two iron and one stone and that should do it okay so uh we're not going to attack anything because we don't have any attack strength what do we spend this on is there anything going away this turn that we really want place a regular army location anywhere in your city without that's again very slow build the catapult adds um three i have to exhaust it though add three to your army nah nah Merchant Guild. I have to exhaust this as well. For each harvest location on this row, get one resource of the type that each such location produces. That's not bad, but unfortunately I have some purple uh, stables. I don't have any enough wood. Storehouse. Um, pay one of any resource to get three of that resource. I mean, that's two free resources. That's not terrible, but I have to have it. All saw locations provide an additional resource when used, so these get extra resources if I land here. But that's really situational. Actually, not terrible. I mean, the starter locations have that saw as well. That mint it doesn't seem all that bad. That might actually give me the boost I need to get me some of these trade ships going. I'm very tempted to get that mint, and it is three points at the end of the game. So let's go with that, 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 and that. That leaves me with one of each resource, which is kind of good. I'm going to take the mint, and it's three points, and where am I going to place this sucker? Um, I prefer not to overwrite a resource if I can do it. Maybe one of these militias? But then again, like, then I start losing the effectiveness of these. You know what I mean? These manners are only one point. And I'm thinking to myself, well, um, maybe maybe cover those up because one point is not going to win you the game, I think. So we'll cover that up and go for a larger game. We're going to try and go for these trade ships. Okay, so uh, with that being said, I think we've bought everything that we're going to buy. I mean, I could buy another watchtower with this, but I kind of want to save up for these trade ships if I can do it. So let's wipe this out and let's move the, this deck is getting a little thin. I'm not liking that at all. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and roll our dice and hope for some good, oh my gosh, they're just everywhere. Black three is there, white one, red two, six is, of course it's Okay. Wow. That's awesome. Well, we get two wood from that, which is great. Um, we, this, this is useless. This is useless. I mean, what am I going to do with that? And I mean, I'm going to get a wood here. I'm going to get three wood. What am I going to do with all this wood? Um, maybe I use one of those woods to get rid of this bazaar so I can use it in the future. I feel like using a die to move over here to get three so I can at least go after uh, this and get two points. Rather than, yeah. Use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. Okay, so let's see if I can time this right. 
what if I move stuff around first, then use this? What would I do with that? Huh. This is just one army. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is let's get rid of this to move this here. Okay. That's going to give me three and then four, right? So, okay, that's fine. This is going to get me two wood, which I, it's hard to pass up resources like that, so I'll, I'll take that. That leaves me with this. Use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. Well, I shouldn't have removed those other ones, but I'm, I was going to use this anyway. So I'm going to use this again a second time. This is six attack and one extra attack. So that's seven attack there. So I've got seven attack moving into the next phase. This is five. And unfortunately, what if I do... It's going to be better if I take a bandit worth four and a bandit worth three. That's seven. So I will do these two. And that's going to be a two and a three. So that's five victory points using that those three dice. It's not great, but it's something. But now I have to move into the build phase and do something with this wood or it goes away. Worst comes to shove, I can buy another lumber mill, but I'd rather not. The stables, move one of your unused dice to any location on its row. So I have to give up a die to... So wait a minute, but that seems silly. Move one of your... Un... Oh, to any location. So rather than it moving one space, to giving up a die to move another die one space, I can move it anywhere I want to. That's not bad, but it's very situational as well, but it is a victory point if I do it. The catapult, no, I don't think that's good. Um, another bazaar, but then I'm still left with two wood. Oh, it's really hard to pass up that bazaar, though. It really is. Um, the storehouse, pay one of any... I kind of want this storehouse because paying one of something to get two of it, uh, or three of it, rather, is good. It just It's a net of two. I, I feel like that's great. So I think I'm going to do one wood and one stone to get this one out. And that is one victory point in itself. And I think I'm going to cover up... Um, I'm consistently landing over here, <laughs> so that sucks. Um, I'd hate to cover up these army spaces, but I feel like I have little choice in the matter. All right, let's do that, because I do have this. I'm going to try and consistently go for this when I can. So there's my storehouse, although having it next to this is kind of risky. Um, do I want to put it in the corner, but then I won't be able to use it as much? Um, maybe put it over here. Oh, this is, this is, this is rough. Uh, you know, these one army spaces, let's, let's put, fine, we'll do that. Let's just keep the video moving. That's probably a mistake. I'm going to regret it. This two wood and, a, and a, an iron. Um, what if catapult? No. I have to exhaust the catapult to get three additional. That The watchtower does all of that already for me, which is nice. Um, I could spend this to get a bazaar, and I think I will do that. And that is worth one point at the end of the game. And this bazaar can go... This is like get one of each, the same as this. So maybe I put that... Maybe over here next to this other bazaar? I, that's not terrible. It is terrible, because what if both are active? I can only choose one of them. So maybe I, I move them... Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, we'll go down here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm screwing this up big time. Like, I'm not chaining things, but uh, hey. All right, new row. And new round. I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Um, I really need some trade ships. That's a f white five, yellow five, blue. I'm not getting anything I need. Oh my gosh. So, wow. These dice are killing me. They're killing me. Um, all, if I can move this over here, then all of these locations will get double, which is nice. Um, and this thing isn't doing anything for me right now. So what if I got rid of this to move this here? That at least guarantees a bunch of resources. So, um, the question is, what would I do with them? And what do I do with this awful thing? Maybe just use it to get rid of this. 
I think I just, yeah, I'm going to use this die to get rid of this token. And now I've got these. So this here is going to double production. I get two stone and this is going to get me two more wood, which <laughs> I really don't need. Okay. So what am I going to do with this mess? Family friendly. Um, let's go with no, all of this costs iron. I have no iron, so I really can't buy anything from here. Um, maybe I get a quarry. Let's get a quarry out. I mean, I, I feel like I don't have much choice. Let's get a quarry out here and hope that I land on this again. And for two wood... There's nothing out here that's just wood either. So I'll just buy another one of these lumber mills and cover up maybe this one over here. That was an awful turn, you guys. That was completely awful. These go away. These dice are evil. They do not want anything to do with me. I was hoping to get victory points consistently with what I've got out there right now, and I'm just not getting it. Half tempted to just get new dice from the box. Six. Let's see what I mean. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Three, four, and five. Okay. Move one of your unused dice to any location on its row. I could move that here to get some stone. Uh, this one here is useless to me. So maybe I use this one to move over there. Use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. Um... Okay, <laughs> with a die on it, move one of, so I could use this to then use this twice, right? Is that how that works? And then I could move this here, but why would I move and then move this one over here to get more stone? I feel like I need to get, I need iron. I need iron, <laughs> I need iron. This, this, and this together. Um, unless I just move, use this to move this somewhere else. But using double of this is great. I mean, I kind of want to move here for two points because I feel like victory points are the thing to do. No, move one of your unused dice to any city. Okay, well, I have to spend this to move something else. So I can't use this to move that, obviously. Mm, 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 mm. I, I feel like using this to move this to here. Right? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Move one of your unused dice to any location. There. So I'm going to move that over by one. Now I'm going to use this ability to reuse this ability. Or better yet... Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's just keep track. I've moved one of your dice. I've moved one of my dice over, I've done that. I wanna use this here first. I wanna get a wood, that, and that. And that puts that on here. I'm gonna use this die to remove this. And then I'm going to get two wood. One, two, and then, so I've used that. And I'm gonna use the ability of any location with your die on it, which is here. So I'm going to reuse that location and get that set of resources again. So it's a lot of a lot of resources coming in. A lot of wood. I'm, I don't know what to do with it, but um, we've got like two of each, which is enough for this five-pointer trade ship. I feel like I need to start doing that if I'm going to get points. It's, it sucks because that was all a lot of dice for just five points and all of my resources. Are there buildings I can construct instead that give me those five points rather than spend all of that? Like I could do um, all your locations provide an additional resource when used. That's another mint worth three points. That would be much cheaper. But then I've got all this wood that I don't know what to do with. Um, but I feel like that's going to be huge. Um, maybe I can hopefully score, maybe I will buy the mint and then get more lumber mills with this wood. Um, hmm. What are my other options? No, nope. church, use the ability of any location in your city. No. Nope. Festival. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm spiraling downhill quickly. Do I want five points by spending all of this? Or do I spend this and get three in the hopes of getting more resources later? I mean, if I got another mint, where would it go? That's, I mean, it, yeah. Um, if I got another mint, maybe there. Or maybe, uh, all of these middle spots are kind of already spoken for. Maybe here. I think I do the five points because the, the game is ending soon. So I'm going to spend all those resources to get the trade ship of five victory points. I think that's a better call at this point. Just because the game is starting to wind down and I and that mint isn't going to pay off as often as I probably would have liked. So I've got these. I might as well spend these two to get a lumber mill somewhere. And... Um, what am I going to do with that? I, I mean, I just put it over this forest maybe. Yeah, that's fine. That leaves me with one wood left, and these cards go away. This slides down. There's probably a meta to this. I just don't know what it is. Uh, we are down to eight cards. Well, now there's... I think that's it. Um, when all the cards have been removed from the array. So this is our last couple of rounds, unfortunately. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll these dice and let's just focus hard on victory points if we can manage. <laughs> you gotta be. Every space, every, I wanna mulligan everything. Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you, this is, this is awful guys. This is awful. Okay. Um. How am I going to, I mean, I feel like moving this over here to get double this would be great. But then I need, I need, well, don't I have another mint? Some, no, I don't. I would need, getting four iron seems to be overkill. What would I do with four iron? Um, I could, I could use that to get over, hmm. I could, all right, let's do that. Um, but then... I need a wood as well. Well, we know we're going to get rid of this to move something. What if I move this here to get two wood, right? And if I get rid of this to move this here, that's going to get me double everything, but still no stone. So instead of doing that... <sighs> what if I just keep what I've got? I mean, again, I think we focus on victory points. I mean, what I need to get that over here, maybe. Um, what's going to get me victory points this turn? Is there a card down here worth a lot? Get one point for every two resources of the same type that you have in your stock. That's, mm -mm. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I have a pass token. I wonder if I can like pass. What would I get? All right. So let's, let's think about this. Can I give up a die and just get a pass? token and then spend those two pass tokens to get a, a second wood and then somehow get two stone and two wood and then trade that in for five points can i do that um rather than move this over here what if i just do this to get a pass token uh and that leaves me with that so how do i maneuver this to make this work i still need stone it, it doesn't matter does it I, yeah see this is on stone I'd have to move this. I'd have to get rid of this to move this here. That's still not going to work, regardless of how... Yeah, no matter what I do... I'm going to put that back. Mm. What, die would I, what dice would I move is, 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 my, is my thing. Um, I, I feel like... I, I feel like this... I need to move this here. This is useless. This, this, this die is useless. I'm going to move that here, for sure. That gets me double resources on this and this. That's four iron. What the heck am I going to do with four iron? There's no way to store it. 
no way to store it. So I feel like I need to give up another die to move one of these over to get some stone. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I'll give this victory point up to move this over here. And that's four stone and two. That's all I'm getting. This is just going to double that and double that, which is awful. So I'm going to get four stone just to keep this video moving. One, two, three, four, and two. I hope I'm entertaining you guys <laughs> with these really bad rolls. Four stone. Uh, what am I going to do with all that stone? Um, I feel like we just go for victory points and just buy as many cards as possible to just get points. Um, the question is, what do I buy and where do I place it? Use the ability of any location in your city with a die on it. That's two points. This is one. Use the ability of any location in your city. That's worth three points, but I don't have enough wood for that. Cemetery is one. Market, nope. I think this great wall is awful. Maybe another storehouse. Yeah, so maybe I'll buy these two cards. So I'm going to, for the storehouse, it's one and one. And the storehouse is going to go, and that's one victory point. It's not a whole lot. The storehouse is going to go, I mean, I'm getting consistently bad rolls here. So maybe, maybe put that there. No, I'll put it over there. No, because what's the... Mm, Mm, yeah, fine. I'm rolling high everywhere. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two stone and an iron to get this great wall, which is other cards in this row of plus two protection, which means nothing to me because no, uh, no one attacks me. But three victory points is three victory points, and I might as well grab it. So I'm going to put this somewhere where no one's going to care. I'm going to put that down here in the great wall and just let it ride. Okay, so that's it. These go away. These slide down. And we are almost, I think, yeah, two more full rounds and we count our victory points up. We really need uh, a huge score here somewhere. Where's my other die? Oh, it's down here. I wish I was playing something where high numbers mattered because this is, this is the stupidest, 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 stupidest thing I've ever seen. Four. Like, I'm physically getting... Ugh. All right, there's the mint, which doubles all of my stuff again. Um, most Move one of your unused die to any spot on its row. Okay. All of your army locations provide an additional thing. Um, I don't have any... I'm, I might use this to then move something. Like, maybe remove that so I can get this. Is there a saw? No, there's no saw on that. Darn. I tried. Let's think about it. Can I get two wood, two stone, and two iron with this play? Um, I'm going to get two iron there. I need more stone. I'm going to get a stone from this and a wood from this. Can I get one more wood somewhere? Um, I'd have to take a pass token or something. Move. It, what if I moved... Um, I don't need that much that much iron. What if I move this six over to where it mattered? Maybe over here. And then I can get the wood I need to then ship this trade ship. Yeah, so maybe I do that. I'm going to spend this to move this here. And I'm going to use that to get two wood. So one, two. And actually, I get two more wood because of that spot. So one, two, three, four. And... I'm going to use this die to get rid of this space, this this uh, this exhausted token, but I'm going to put it right back on because I'm going to use that spot. And I'm going to get one of each resource. So I'm going to get a stone, an iron, and a wood. And with that, um, I'm going to build. I'm going to, well, I'm going to trade ship, I think. Is there anything here that pay up to three stone or iron when you build this? Well, it needs a stone and an iron already. That would be worth four points, and it's five. I mean, oh, that goes here. Um, I got a lot of wood. Is there something I can build in its stead? Rather than do five points for the trade ship, can I buy 
cards that add up to five. Uh, marketplace, pay one or two of any one resource for each one, pay to get two. Mm. That's, that's two points. That's two points plus possibly others, but uh, bizarre is one point. So this, all of, this is, these are the only two pointers on here. I'd have to buy three cards to get this. And I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I just play it safe and get the five points. So I'm going to do two, two, and two to get a five point token. Okay. And that's all she wrote. These go away. And I think we are down to our last round. Did I mention uh, baby mode? You only need five points to win. <laughs> that's what I'm going. <laughs> I'll make it happen. You watch. Three. Uh, there's uh, five. Uh, four black and one yellow. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we're winning this game. All of your army locations provide an additional sword. What if I just go all in and just go like, that's three points. Um, what would I do? Oh, these, these extra ones would go away. I'm just going to, well, it's kind of late. I should have discarded down to one. I was going to buy a lumber mill, but I don't think it would have mattered. Um, okay. So this is two iron. This is one stone. That's two wood. I'd be down one stone in order to get this trade ship going. Is that possible to do with the dice that I have? I think I'm short. I'm short by one die, I think. This is kind of overkill. Mm, instead of using this to get wood when I don't need it, what if I use this to get rid of this, this to move this over, and that gets me one of everything. And then using these, I then... Tra yeah, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to use this die to get rid of this. I'm going to use this to move this over. I'm going to use this die to get one of each resource. And if this doesn't work out, I'll be so pissed. Um, and then a stone and two iron. All right. And that's two, two, two for another five points. This trade ship here. And these go away and that ends the game. All right, so the question remains, did I get enough points? Doubtful. Five, ten. I, I had all of these other things. Uh, Fifteen. Let's go ahead and just make some change. This is five. Do we have any tens in here? It would have been nice. I don't see any. All right, so let's do three. That's five. So this is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five here. Uh, this is uh, 30, 32 is what we have there. Then we've got to add these up. This is 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, uh, 41, 43, 44, 47, 48, 50, 52. 52 points. Did, are you serious? I, did I win? Did, <laughs> how did I do that? That last trade ship, these, these trade ships, that's the only way I pulled that out of my butt. All right, so just, just so you know, there it is. Um, 50 VP or more, that's what it says. So unless I did something wrong, which is totally within the realm of possibility, I somehow pulled that out of my you-know-what. Again, family-friendly. So I got to say, I... This game always frustrates me. I love engine building. I love this as I love the tableau building as well. Yes, I, I know you can discard dice to move dice. I get that. But I get so frustrated sometimes when you've got four or five buildings that you've constructed and you always roll that one number that has no card on it consistently. Consistently. This, this is this is me. This this is me all the time. This, well, that doesn't go there. But you get the, you get you know what I'm saying. Dice, die, die, die. It, it's just how I roll dice. I've got all these nice cards. I've got all these nice cards, but no, mm -mm. 
not gonna mm -mm, mm -mm. no we're not gonna give it to you no you're not we're not gonna land on those other cards no mm -mm. those cards you put down this one here mm -mm, you're not gonna no. two victory points screw that no you're gonna get a stone <laughs> that that's this this game because of that uh raises my blood pressure however i still enjoy it um i in the multiplayer version i don't like the fact that you can use your attack dice to disable other players buildings that's why some of these buildings have a little defense symbol on them this one says three for example that means nothing in the solo game but in a multiplayer game you can instead of attacking bandits you can attack other players buildings and you also score victory points for disabling their buildings so like I don't like the take that mechanic. I would just as soon as just remove that from the game and and just play less competitively. Just I, I but I love the idea of you've got all of these spaces. There's 30 spaces. Six times five is 30. You got 30 spaces, and you can replace all of them with cards and get better. But as you see, you know sometimes luck just isn't on your side. But when it works, it works. When you when you are lucky enough, okay, to roll, okay. This is what I was hoping for in my game. Maybe two victory points there. Oh, use the ability of another building. Uh, that would be great. Maybe I could do something like that and use that twice. And I get four victory points with only two dice. That would be great. Wouldn't that be great? Um, I would have loved maybe landing on this or... I was hoping to get this so that I could, like, get... Uh, you know, two stone, two wood, two iron consistently and just consistently use the trade ship. But, you know, 15 turns isn't a whole lot of time. Now, if I had to make any, like, suggestions, let's say you want an easier experience than what you've seen. What you could do is, um, if you want a lighter game, maybe play to 40 victory points instead of 50 victory points. That would give you a little bit of wiggle room and a little bit more freedom. Because I'm sure there's a meta in this game. Maybe, like, maybe the meta is trade ships, trade ships, trade ships. Or go all military. Military, military, military. Yeah, there are, like, culture cards, like these purple ones that give victory points. But I feel like you have to, like, get lucky enough to land your dice on them to really pay off. Whereas, like, with the military, if you've got enough of that, you could, like, consistently get a lot of points. So I'm sure there's a meta somewhere. I haven't found it. I'm not that... I don't play this game that much. But um, if, if you want to play around a little bit more, maybe play to like 40 victory points instead of 50, make, call that an easy mode. You know, just, just Or maybe even 30. Let's say that you're playing with your kids and your kids just want to build stuff without any sort of strategy in mind. Maybe just for an easy mode, play to 30 or 40. You, you know, it, that's the nice thing about board games. You can, you know, suit the rules to your liking and to your, your play style and your group's play style and your preferred difficulty and uh, rules be darned. Some people are really sticklers for that kind of thing. Here in my household, my main goal is to have fun. With that said, I did have fun with this with with a side of frustration because dice, dice, RNG, dice. Anyway, I'm going to stop repeating myself. That was Dice City. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.